Our next caller is Morgan from Missouri. Hey, Morgan, how can we help you? Hi, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I'm really thankful for everything that you do and the content you make. So uh, thank you for that. Uh, my question today has to do with um, excessive exercise and trying to cut back on that. So um, just as a background, I'm a fitness instructor for uh, group fitness classes, and I work out a lot do doing that. And so I'm trying to cut back on the energy I give in class because I've recently started resistance training. And I love those results. And I know that that is where I need to be. But with as much as I do, it isn't sustainable for my energy and my sleep and kind of what I give. So I just didn't know if you had any advice for physically doing less, but still keeping the progress I've made and not retract or not regress at all and continue to reach my goals, but kind of cut back on as much as I'm giving right now. I think we should defer this one to Justin since he's the big bar guy. Yeah, That's I it. love bar. This is uh, yeah. between your Zumba and bar. This is yeah. what you be doing all the time. So I've only, I'm the only one with the balls to do it. So. <laughs> we actually all took this. You guys remember when we took this class? We did. It's very difficult. We, we took a bar yeah. class and got our asses handed yeah. to us. It's very, very challenging. <laughs> okay, so very it is. It's sneaky. You don't expect it, but I do bar and circuit and hit. So during class, I do a lot, but I'm ready to cut back as an instructor and give more to my personal workouts. Okay. So, so, so what's that going to look like for you? When you say cut back, how many hours a week will you be teaching and being active in classes? So I s am hoping to just physically not do as much and still instruct with, you know, verbal cues and things like that. It'll, um, like it, it, I teach at least one class a day, if not more. Um, usually it's two. So I'm hoping to not do as much there and just kind of be active and not physically work out, but then do 20 minutes of cardio in the morning like I typically do. And then uh, it looks like it'll probably be 45 minutes to an hour of resistance training. If Because I just started, uh, I got the bikini bundle, so I just started that. If you were allowed to, that's exactly what I would I would make you do is is not allowed to move in your classes. You could just cue and teach. Okay. So um, we talked recently in a, in a, in a qua where um, – I shared that I used to actually train a lot of group. In fact, I, was, I got known as helping out all our group X instructors because they struggled with building the body they wanted, but they were exercising four or five hours a day. And one, mm -hmm. of, the, one of the biggest hurdles I always had was like, I, I know you love to hype the class and get the energy going and, and move with them, but you're not allowed to. So long as I'm coaching you, uh, you can't. You just got to cue. If you're gonna, If you're going to have me help you and, and build this physique and build this metabolism – then we got to back off all this high intensity moving around all day long. In fact, in your 20 minutes of cardio, I would cut that also. And we would, okay. we would 100% focus on the MAPS program. It's all about strength training. And if you want to be a teacher still, that's fine. You can teach, but you can't be, you can't be bouncing around and running all over the place with them. Not until I, I start to build that metabolism back up because I'm guessing that you probably have struggled with that as far as your calorie intake. I would assume that you, for as much as you move, you probably don't eat four or 5,000 calories, which is probably what you should be eating. Yeah, I do. Um, I am aware of what I eat, but I didn't know that I, how much I could eat until like the past like four months. I think it's been like a realization of how much I have to eat to perform. So um, yeah, I don't, I can't maintain that forever. It's just not sustainable. It doesn't, there's not a lot of time in a day and I can't spend four hours of it working out, right. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to back up Adam hundred percent. I'd say cut the cardio out of the morning. You're still okay. going to, you're going to teach your classes and you know, just, you can teach them. Here's the deal. Just cause you're teaching the classes, you're still moving. Yeah. Even if you're not doing the class mm -hmm. with the people, you're still moving. That'll count as your other activity. And then with resistance training, um, I would go MAPS anabolic. I wouldn't even go as, as high as MAPS aesthetic. I would do MAPS anabolic. You could do three foundational workouts a week, stick there, and then see what happens. This is one of the ca these cases, and there's I've seen this happen many times, where I've had a person work out less mm -hmm. and get leaner and get the body that they want from working out less because you're shifting okay. the way that your body is adapting. Right now, your body's adapted to lots of work. Uh, you probably have lots of stamina, lots of endurance. Your body's minimizing muscle and strength. You're going to shift that to a more strength-focused routine. Um, of course, make sure you eat a, a, an adequate protein diet. And then watch your body. Mm -hmm. Watch what happens to your body. You're probably already seeing some, some positive effects now. Yeah. 
make that shift and then watch what happens. Yeah, the biggest hurdle is going to be the psychological shift that it's going to require for you to be able to trust that you're doing the right thing. I know I've trained a lot of people in that situation where they're just constantly moving and they feel like they have to keep that momentum up. Otherwise, they're going to now all of a sudden start gaining body fat like crazy. Um, but really, our, our focus <laughs> and shift is is on building muscle and building strength. And that does take uh, some time uh, to work on it. And you got to trust the process. And I'm going to add one more thing to you, Morgan, because I know you. When you're when you're getting ready and you're doing your strength training, rest, rest as long as the yeah. program tells you, yeah. or rest yeah. longer. Okay, with you, okay. The, with you, I don't think we could rest too long. Okay, right. two minutes, three minutes rest between sets if we've got the time to stretch the workout up. Because with all of my 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 group X instructors, that because you guys are so high energy, it's such a shift mentally. Like Justin is talking about, it was always so hard for me to, to settle you guys down. You know, what's yeah. next, Adam? They'd be ready yeah. for the next, next exercise. Next, next, next. and I'm constantly, yeah. <laughs> I'm constantly having to remind them, you need to rest. We're trying to, we're trying to yeah. change that signal that Sal's talking about to your body. We need to shift it from this yeah. cardio. Be like bunny. Sal, play some Enya in your workout. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next yeah. and calm the whole time. Yeah, yeah. totally different. But <laughs> just okay. get calm. No, that's awesome. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And then um, for nutrition, also, honestly, my biggest thing is I, I make sure I hit my protein every day. You know, I know how much I weigh, so I know how much I need. Um, but kind of intuitive, I guess, like the, the intuitive eating guide is there. So I should just kind of like, right now, I don't plan on changing much and just trying to feel what I need. Um, yeah. Again, hoping that it doesn't cause me to gain fat or anything. But um do you have any suggestions on what I should or shouldn't do in that respect? No, you're, you're, you're doing the right thing. Don't count your calories. You know, if that's fine, track your protein. Yeah, I won't do that. Yeah, don't get, <laughs> don't, don't get stuck on counting macros and calories. Protein's fine. You can keep focusing on that. Okay. Focus on how you okay. feel. Focus on your on how you feel and how how strong you are. Yeah. If you're getting stronger, okay. you're, you're moving in the right direction. Eat, eat when you're hungry, but make good choices, right? So eat when you're, if your body is yeah. hungry and you're telling yourself, eat, but eat good and eat, make good choices. And, and also, you know, understand too, if you're building strength, you're going to build some muscle. So, you know, you might notice clothes fitting different. Don't, you know, pay attention to how mm -hmm. you, you feel. Look at yourself. Don't pay attention to the scale. You could go up a couple pounds. Don't think of it like that. Pay attention, focus on the strength and the physique that you're starting to build more than getting hung up on the weight or maybe how clothes are fitting currently and give it some time. Yeah. And, and truthfully, I, well, I, I just went to the doctor yesterday, so that's how I know how much I weigh, but like, I don't. I'll weigh myself once a month and I've, Good. since I've started resistance training, my leggings fit better. They're filled out better. And, you know, just in general, I think, you know, I think I look a lot better. So I, you know, I was just going to keep that, but Good. yeah, I won't Good. step on the scale. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Resistance training, you guys, you definitely are uh, right with that. So thank All you right. for helping me keep that mindset when I very easily could have just stopped and not. So thank you. Awesome. No problem. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you guys. I really appreciate your time. Thank you, Morgan. All right. Yeah, this is uh, highlights the why you know the, the book that I wrote is so important right now. It's like people just they, they we we focus too much on exercise as being a way to burn calories, and yeah. we don't focus on the most important thing, which is how is this exercise teaching my body to adapt? How is it signaling my body to adapt? That's the most important thing you should focus on. And most people. Uh, if they tell their body to build muscle and get stronger, we'll get all the results and goals that they want and more. I, I love though how how open minded she is though. Mm -hmm. Like the fact, I, one of the hardest parts about training uh, my clients that were Group X instructors was getting them to to shift out. Oh, that yeah. was, God, it was like pulling teeth sometimes. Yeah, because it it's hard when you're in it. I don't care how how smart you think your trainer is or who who's talking to you to convince somebody that they're you know the reason why they 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 have body fat or they can't change their physique is because they're doing too much. Yeah. You're you're burning. They're too doing much. real work yeah. and it's and it's hard and it's they're sweating and all of this is tangible. Uh, and then to tell them that you know maybe that's not like promoting what your desired outcome is is really tough to handle. Well, I mean, and what happens? What they experience is when they stop teaching as many classes, but they're not doing any resistance that's training. Right, the body they gain fat, weight. That's right. 
right. And so, like, what do you mean you want me to not do right. as much? I get fat every time I do right, that. It's like, right. no, no, no. We're we're gonna send a different signal yeah. while you cut back on the on that type of activity. Now That's the, what's gonna make the, the difference. cool part, though, man. You take somebody who's got the motivation, the discipline, like a lot of Group X instructors have, and you can get them to shift. Oh, it. A, a ninety day transformation. Oh, like you, don't you, even you can you can build an one eighty degree. Yeah, you can build an incredible physique for someone like this if you can get them. And I, I feel like her, she's in the right place, right? She's already asking for that advice. She's open minded to mm -hmm. to shutting down some of that stuff. If she if she backs off of all the high intensity while she's teaching class and lays off the cardio and then just strength trains like a maps and a ball three day a week and eats when she's hungry and feeds herself well, she'll change that physique totally.